Thank you, Google, for startups and the accelerator program. It's great to be here. My name is Kanav Singla. I am the founder and CEO of MetaDome.ai. MetaDome is enabling omnichannel DD and XR retail for brands and enterprises. Now, quickly to give you a glimpse of the company and what we have been able to do so far, we are leading the XR roadmap for Fortune 500 enterprises globally. We work with enterprises across sectors like automotive, fashion, home decor, and we are present in four geographies as we speak today. Our innovation partner is obviously Google for Startups, and we have been working very closely with Google for the last one year, enabling a lot of technology and innovation at our site. Now let's quickly talk about what is XR and why do we need it? So we are all familiar with what today happens in the online retail world, which is 2D commerce, when we are looking at images and when we are looking at videos to decide do we want to buy a particular product or not. And as in when the size of the product increases, and what I mean by that is buying a flower vase is easy online, but buying a car is not. And that is where the need of XR comes in because you need a lot more visuals, you need more information, and you need to imagine a lot more before making the purchase online. And images and videos don't cut that. You know, same goes for products like eyewear, jewelry, and something that you try on yourself you need a lot more information and a lot more context about that product before buying it. And that's where you know XR comes in and makes an impact. And what we have seen from what uh, brands have told us and from what consumers have told us is seeing is believing. And 60% of our perception from a sensory standpoint is visual. And that is the perception of visual commerce that we are bringing in into the experiences through XR and through augmented reality. Now, let me quickly take you through some of the use cases that our platform has powered in the early days. So you'll see, you know, a car in augmented reality, you'll see a laptop screen or a monitor in augmented reality, you'll see a full house, you can augment the full house in your environment and see that in VR in front of you, you can augment the entire showroom and see that in VR in front of you. So these are some of the early use cases expanding into, you know, gaming experiences like virtual test drive, 3D product configurators, 3D showrooms. And this is all the early prototypes of what has been built on our platform today. So this is a little bit about what XR does, but let's first also talk about what are the current challenges with XR today. So as a brand, they face a challenge of investing again and again for different OS and for different hardwares. So for example, if I'm a brand, I want to build an XR experience and deploy it across form factors like smartphones and within smartphones like Android, like iOS, and within desktops like Mac OS or Windows. And then within VR headsets, you have different form factors and different OS and different hardwares. You have to create this XR content separately or independently between all these form factors and all these hardwares. So there is no interoperability that exists today. There is no one standard that exists today. And that is one of the biggest challenges. It leads to a high development cost for brands. It leads to a fragmented development workflow for developers and creators. It leads to you know, bad standards. So something that you see on an iOS may not look the same when you see it on Android. So that leads to a bad standard in terms of graphics. And that is the problem that we are solving from our, with, within our own platform, where we are building interoperable visual experiences through our platform that work across the stream of any game engine and any hardware. So irrespective of where creators and brands have their content today, they can use our platform and deploy it across form factors with the same visual fidelity, with the same experience for everybody without having to worry about, hey, will my users have an Android phone or will they have an iOS phone or will they have a Mac OS? So that is a little bit about what metadome.ai does. Quickly giving you an introduction about our platform. So we are able to release photorealistic 3D assets. It is a device agnostic experience. It is agnostic to the development platform as well. It is, ag it is agnostic to the CMS that you have if you are using a third party CMS or you're using your own CMS, it is compatible with that as well. So with that, I sign off and giving you a glimpse today about metadome.ai. It was great talking to you about what our company does. Thank you, Google for startups and the accelerator for this opportunity.